Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Akira and welcome back to this let's play of Finding Paradise. And I'm pretty sure we got to um, what's it called the hospital this time around. And they're playing pilot hat. Uh, because I think actually they're about to get their son, maybe. Uh, again, it's pretty hard to figure out because they jump in time so much. Um, there's nothing really here I can't poke them out of existence like in the old game. Doesn't seem there's something down there, so maybe I just want to check this. I just got a bunch of blurry paperwork. Uh, nothing to do with what I need. Who are you? Wrong room, sorry. Well, that is going great there, Dad. There we go. Sophia, uh, the song uh, grounded my plans back in the old day. And I just. Wait, what? You made it. Is that? Honey, you're vibrating, <laughs> you're vibrating the baby. I'm just going to be right back. So... I really want to know what paper that is. You're happy though, right? Of course I am. It's just that... I don't know. I was in such a rush to get back and suddenly seeing him here. I guess I just needed a moment for it to sink in. Hey, it's okay. I feel it too, you know? But, well, maybe it is... And but maybe it's as they say. Maybe you're never meant to feel ready. How could I when I feel no different from the uh, the kid I was yesterday? But you know, but you are. You are different, even from the man you were when I first met you. I know I don't know what changed, but. You're no longer alone, you know, when you're here, you're actually here. <laughs> I couldn't even make it here when I was born, when he was born. Well, hey, you don't know he was so eager to meet us early. What matter is you're here now, and we're gonna be okay. Okay, so that's why he took that paper. <laughs> to make a paper plane. Yeah, we're gonna be okay.
No receipt uh, regards absence. Okay, I'm really curious to test something. Yeah, that's Faye and I get confused about the names because Faye and Fia sound so. Yeah, so similar. Okay, I'm back again. Uh, sorry about the little break. Uh, my phone rang. Uh, one of my friends wanted to talk to me. Apparently, he wanted to invite me into seeing some stand up <laughs> later this uh, week. Yeah, a little over a week. <laughs> so, <laughs> that is something. Um, <laughs> so, but, anyways, back to the game. Sorry about the whole break here. So, we are going um, to the next memory through this memento here. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. They were not that hard, actually, if I remember correctly. So what I need to do is... Getting them... To line up, uh, probably... Oh god, this is not working. Oh, 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 I have it, I have it, I have it. And there we go. That was easy enough. I just was overcompensating it in my head. And let's activate. But yeah, it, um, I read that just a second. But yeah, I was confused again because the names sound so similar when they talk. Um, and I actually bad at remembering names on things. Even though I really enjoyed this game, I have really bad at remembering names on people, even in games. Um, so I was actually confusing her with his childhood friends <laughs> for some reason, but um, yeah, th this is the mother of the child in the uh, later life and not the girl for the earlier life, because I still have a idea of that the girl we meet early on is um, also the shadow person we're seeing all the time, but I don't know yet. But that is my guess right now. How could I, even when I feel no different? For the kid I was yesterday. But you are different, even from the man you were when I first met you. And we're back in the child line again. But it's a little older than before, I think. Uh. Whoa, far out. Where is he? Did we get drifted from this spawn point? Don't worry, I get this. Okay, can I get in somewhere? Sometimes I really hate guesswork in this. Let's just talk to her. He's on the other side, right? We should just... <sighs> okay, there we go. Look, Neil. All we need to do is just get over the wall. I don't know what you're planning, but let's try and keep it simple. Don't worry. I didn't hit any simpler than this. Is that... Hookshot! Come on, give me a break. I already wanted to. Try, I always want, always want to try this. All right, I guess it's straightforward enough. Yeah. Well, could have been better. Well, what are you doing? That was already high enough. Not for, uh, for me it wasn't. Okay, almost max speed. I can feel it, Eve. What? This hookshot. It's the hookshot that will pierce the heavens. What the fuck? You can't just combine two franchises like that. He literally pierced the heaven. 
Dude, I'm saying Nept <laughs> unstrunking Neptune and put it back in orbit right now. Relax. It was copy paste, not cut paste. Not to mention. Uh, not to mention the part particularly generated. Now, let me just turn on this localized gravity. Wait, what? What is wrong with you? What? You said it was already uh, alright to use the hookshot. Now, let's just turn the gravity off and. By Neptune, thanks for the lift. At least it wasn't Uranus. What was that? Nothing. Let's get going. <laughs> Talk about staying up the past bedtime. Don't even bother. It's not gonna fly over, you know? We're too far apart. So, are you gonna finish telling me that story? Huh? The one with the injured bird you found when you were kid. Oh, nice! I really like that made the reference to that game. Uh, <laughs> even though it actually is part of the whole story, but I really good that they actually don't forget it. There's not much to it. You know how it goes. The bird had a broken wing, and they took care of it for a while. The wind took it in afterwards, but but what? But I tried to steal it, uh, the bird back. You thought you'd take better care of it? Of course not. I knew I shouldn't have. Then why? Because it was way. <laughs> because it was my only friend, I guess. I just didn't want to let it go. Wow, that's a lot of shabby. <laughs> Sakarin, I think. Uh, I might give you a handkerchief for a dog or even a cat, but a bird? I know I shouldn't have said anything. Everyone I told that story to either thought that I got bored or sleep. Everyone I, t <laughs> everyone I told that story to eat, to either uh, thought uh, that. I got bored to sleep. That was how it's pronounced. Yeah, I can't help you there. But everyone goes into things with their own context, you know? Maybe it's only fair that they didn't care much for it. Maybe the bird was something different to you than it was to them. Or maybe you just started telling that story. I just wanted them to be late. Yeah, how did that work out for ya? Not every story, uh, not every story meant to be told, you know. Some of them are meant to be kept. So, how did it end? Uh, I think the bird flew off. I think I lost it. But it came back uh, to say goodbye one day. You think? I don't know. I kept on mixing up reality with daydreaming back then. I guess I was living in my head a little too much. Huh. <laughs> You're getting better at this. I used to daydream about taking off 
on a big paper plane, you know. We fly all over the world, seeing all kinds of sights. And I could just fly across from balcony to balcony. Well, that's dumb. You can't fly on paper planes, silly. No, duh. I mean, if you really want to fly so bad, why don't you go and become a pilot? <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Yeah, why not? What do you mean, why not? What does it seem to just go and become a pilot? Why doesn't one? Because... how? Well... Planes take off from airports, right? It doesn't hurt to find out... Uh, find one and ask. That's... If only it could be that simple. If you won't let... Uh, if, if you just let it be, maybe it could. I should go, Colin. I know. Hey. I'm gonna look for that airport tomorrow. Okay, receive note flying. Well, the friendly girl next door would be one way to get inspired to fly, I guess. Whoa, seems like it ran into a poster sale. Oh, puberty. With the balcony room like this, his parents sure are confident on his sleepwalklessness. A poster of a horror movie. <laughs> Didn't think he had it in him. And then there's the Pac-Man and... I can't see what the last one is. Uh, I mean, if you really want to fly so bad, phrase it. Why don't you go and become a pilot? So this green book uh, from yourself is just a journal. It seems legit. Okay, so that uh, thing I'm looking for. So we still have to find it. Oh, the plastic toy sits in the bookcase. Can I get locked? Uh, as for VHS tapes, because the sci-fi classics and horror movies. Okay, so I have to find the last one. I think it's that. Poster of a tropical island surrounded by a lagoon and barrel of reef. Huh? That looks familiar. It's the same place as, it, as the painting hanging above his bed in his elderly days. He's also keeping his exact same picture in the attic every now. For a teenager, he's sure had some odd fashion tastes in posters. Okay, and now we can go on. And the last one. Prepare. So it's the journal that is the token this time around. This and oh, I can't push that. Um, how I need to get it up one more space. I oh, I can't do that. There we go, and 
There we go. Activate Momento. Now we're back on the plane. So we're getting close to the two timelines connecting. Well, so much for the cliffhanger of whether he became a pilot, eh? <laughs> More like cliffhanger, hang right? I don't get that. Or I mispronounced that word. Oakland Center, uh, Cactus 135 Cruising Flight Level 390. Cactus 135, uh, Oakland Center, Alternate Settings 3007, see ya. Alternate 3000 settings, Cactus 135, uh, out. See? Greenhorn, uh, see uh, Greenhorn. You gotta uh, play by the rules and use them proper radio words. Every single time. Even when you're not in, on the radio at home. Uh, to arrive, even <laughs> when you're not on the radio, at home to arrive. But the chief instructor said, Do you look like the chief instructor? There's a face also inward with this awkward winning mustache. Don't think uh, I'll be going easy on you just cause it is your first flight with the company. As my first officer, there's only two things I would want to hear from you. They are yes, Captain, and landing gear down. That's funny, sir. Do I look funny to you? No, you don't, uh, sir. What did I just say about the only two things I expect to hear from you? Yes, Captain. So I do look funny to you. Uh, landing gear down. Son of a gun, you sent me all the brainless pretty ones. This can't be serious. Well, you know how memories get exaggerated sometimes, I hope. No, Captain Ernest. Okay, so we have to find two. Yes, Captain. I heard one request. To not send me a guard. Uh, a guard. And what do you do? You send me a guard. Uh, it's still keeping journals in this thing. He sent some sort of uh, pre-flight checklist glued to it. Okay, let's see if we can find the last. I don't think the last one is in here actually. Okay, let's go out. Well, how was the f uh, first day? Is Captain Ernest always like that? I barely did a thing but sit there. <laughs> yeah, you should probably get used to that for a while. Forget about him though. You got any plans for the night? The only flight attendants, uh, attendants. and I were thinking of taking you for some drinks to celebrate. Oh. Tell the fangs, but I better head straight back home. My wife's just about halfway into her first uh, transit. I'm away for long enough as it is. Whoa, double congrats. Got a name picked yet? Yeah, we're thinking Asha. Okay, and we found the momentum already. Even though I can't see what it is. So how... Well this one seems easy enough. Or not. I thought it was the books. Well, good enough for me. It was a captain's head. And activate. 
So, back to childhood again. Go on, ask him. Okay, but um, what he's asking I will find out in the next episode because I think I'm out of time. I got a little confused by <laughs> my phone ringing <laughs> in the middle of the all. So yeah, with that I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos and I hope you all will have an awesome day. So until next time, farewell.